anyone from TfL, if you're watching, these seats here, it doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick one and put them in every single one of our buses on every single bus in, T in TfL, please. And why is that a good idea? With the best seats on the market. You can't get any fairer than that. The best seats on the market. You've had it straight from the man himself. Any one of these, I'd be happy to sit on all day long and drive my bus. Please, TfL, can you make this happen? Okay, so this is RGI Bus and Coach Refurbishment Limited, and we're joined here now by Ross. Hello, Chris. Hello. And if you'd like to explain to everyone exactly what it is you do and how it benefits buses and the drivers, and more importantly, the passengers. Absolutely. So uh, a lot of London buses have got to go through a refurbishment pro process throughout its life, normally around about the seven year mark. So when the buses come to us, we look at any accident damage, we address that. We have all the interior trim outs, uh, they have a deep clean, we make sure everything should be as working as it should be inside. And then ultimately they have a nice freshly coat of red paint and they're re-trimmed, re, re We look at the driver's compartment, so we look at driver's seats, so we normally would put new phones on, re-moquetted and they are ready for further service back in London. Um, as you can see this one, this is a 2014 hybrid operated by Abelio. Uh, and we've done a few little sort of changes to uh, this, so um, it's not the normal sort of E400, um, the spec would be on uh, an E400, but we've changed it slightly to the newer spec on the Euro liner that uh, about That'll be Euro 6? Yeah, this is Euro 6 bus anyway, but oh, yeah, the yeah. Euro liners that are the electric vehicles oh, by yes. right that are due to go into service very shortly. So they've had different flooring. You've probably seen the go-ahead version, they've got wooden flooring. So is this one. And if you want to come and have a look, Chris, we'll, um, we'll talk you through it. It's been an absolute it's pleasure. pleasure. I'm sure you've heard that sound a many, many times. Many, many times. Absolutely, so we should. The floor's been re uh, re -lino'd. It certainly has. Very nice. There so there that's go. the latest in thing is the um, wood effects flooring. Absolutely, so obviously the operators and TFL want to improve um, the experience for passengers, which is you know really great, because everybody wants to do the best for the passengers at the end of the day. So um, this is an older bus, it wouldn't be subject to the new flooring, but on this particular one, we've just done it as a one-off. Ah. So with agreement with uh, Belio. So um, you'll see on the bus that um, do various things, and I must say that a lot of the concepts and things that are on this bus probably won't go into service. So just because it's at the show, um, don't expect it to be on the, on the streets of London in that sort of particular way. So we've got printed step edging. Please no standing beyond this point. Uh, Self-explanatory. 
Yeah. Um, more than likely that'll be taken up and it'll just have a solid yellow bit of flooring when it goes back to the uh, Seats have been relocated. Uh, and obviously the priority seats have now got uh, woven into this is a priority seat, so they're new. On That's excellent. I've, I've seen that a few times actually, so people actually know that they are priority seats and Absolutely. not to sit in them if possible. Absolutely, and we've still got priority seat stickers anyway, yep. so there's a, a bit of a double whammy there. And then what we've done internally is we've uh, fitted an LG product, which is very much like a, a vinyl wrap. So it gives a wood effect onto the Formica, and the Formica was quite a sort of a dark charcoal colour. So we've changed that to lighten the bus up. Yep. Um, printed step edging to remind passengers to mind your step, it's explanatory, hold the handrail, and it just repeats the staff going on. Of course. So I'll let you uh, have a look at that, Chris, if you like. Let's go upstairs and have a look. Well, so I do like the way you've put a bit of love and care into this Enviro 400. You know, I've got to say, I do, I do miss driving these. They are a very nice bus to drive. Yeah, the thing is, they, they, they've lasted. They have. You know, I mean, 2006, I think, was the first time I saw them out. They were, yeah. 2006 were the first ones, which were very much based on a, a Trident. I'll say, it's that, it's, do you know what, it's that, it's that new smell. You know, that new fabric smell. It's not like new car smell, new bus smell. It's certainly there. You know. And obviously what we've done with this one as well, we fitted new plastic seat backs as well. So yes. um, all the poles have been re-coated in an antimicrobial material. And given the current climate. It's definitely a winner and we need it. Yeah, definitely, so, 100%. So that's, um, that's that in a nutshell. Um, we fitted uh, the new Hanovers, so um, they've got Hanover blinds as opposed to the paper blinds, so obviously things move on. Great for the operator, they can put this bus in any route they want rather than taking the blinds out and transferring it out to a garage. So it saves, it saves time. They look really, really good um, and the ones that are out in service are absolutely fantastic. I've seen them, they do look the part. Absolutely. So um, that's where we're at really. Um, this should be going back into London probably in the next couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, we've got to take up the, the step edge. It's just a concept that we're looking at at the moment, but um, obviously things can be approved by TFL and it's not approved, so we can't send it back looking like that. So it'll just be a normal plain step edge. Excellent.